Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So from the thumbnail itself, you have already seen that what we will be discussing in this video. We will be discussing about Verilog roadmap. Okay, and obviously there will be a free VLSI placement series. We will be discussing about that as well. So let's first start with the syllabus of Verilog and what I will be covering. So I have divided Verilog into two modules, module one and module two. So module one will contain basics of Verilog while where I will be discussing introduction to VLSI, different levels of abstractions and other few topics. Then second chapter will contain gate level modeling. Third chapter will contain data flow level modeling. Fourth chapter will contain behavioral level of modeling. And uh, fifth chapter will contain the examples. Whatever we have learned, right? We'll code those in examples of combinational circuits, sequential circuits, memories, FIFOs and FSMs. And few miscellaneous topics also we will discuss. Now this is the module two. Now module one will come completely free on YouTube. Okay, it will be completely free on YouTube. Now, will the module two will uh, be free on YouTube? There is few conditions attached to module two. Okay, if you want module two to be free, right? There are few conditions that I will discuss at the end of this video. Let's discuss about the course delivery. How the course will be delivered to you guys? So obviously there will be a complete schedule. The schedule I will discuss after this slide and uh, the recorded videos will come. You don't have to uh, watch them live because you might have some obligations. So like you might have some class, you might have some college, something may come up. So the, the videos will always be there on YouTube. You can watch it at your own pace. They will be self paced. Okay. Notes will be provided both in black and white background. Uh, black background, if you want to read from your PC, or from your uh, like uh, mobile but white background is for those guys who want to take a printout so both type of notes will be provided live coding demo will be there so this is the unique feature of this course this is not present in any of the course which oh, which i am aware of okay because most of the time what happens they just come in like a ppt they just explain the code and that's it they don't code and they don't compile the code they don't run the code they don't do the simulation but I will do the simulation as well. Okay, we'll run it with test benches. So that is a unique feature of this course. And trust me, this is not even present in paid courses. So that is what we will, we will be doing. Then I will also provide the code PDFs. Uh, whatever, uh, like whatever I have done, right? Coding that I will provide in the PDF format. I will not provide in the .v file. What is .v? .v is the extension for Verilog file. I will not provide. Why? Because if I provide the .v file, what you will do? You will just simply Control C and Control V. You will do copy and paste. You will not learn anything with Control C and Control V. You will not learn anything. I will be providing the code PDFs where the code will be written, written. But I want you to write the code on your own. So that is what I want you to do because then only you will be able to learn very long. Else you will not learn anything. And the, what will be the syllabus coverage? Syllabus coverage will be for freshers. Okay. System Verilog will not be covered because System Verilog is a bit advanced topic that is not asked in freshers job role. So we will we will be strictly following the freshers uh, syllabus. Okay. So that was about the uh, course delivery. Now let's understand few prerequisites. What you need to learn before starting the Verilog journey. So there are few mandatory and optional prerequisites. What are mandatory? Of course, digital electronics. You should learn digital electronics thoroughly then only you will be able to implement those concepts in very long don't worry i will specify the links to the resources from where you can learn all these things of course you should you should know how to use visual studio code so i will be uh, editing my code and uh, running my code on v vs code you can use a different code editor as well it's totally up to you but i will be using this so if you want to follow along with me you can uh, learn how to use this I will provide link as well. Of course, you should have a laptop or PC. If you don't have a laptop or a PC, it will be very difficult for you to learn it properly. You will, you will be not be able to learn the Verilog properly because you will not be coding, right? You will just see the theory. That is not enough. And optional things are C and C++. If you learn C and C++, there are few similarities between Verilog and C and C++, although they are totally different. They like architecture and everything is very different. But if you learn C and C++, right? you will learn very long bit quicker that is it if you learn it very good if you don't learn learn it then it then also it is fine but the problem problem is anyways you have to prepare this when you will be preparing for digital vlsi roles so prepare now itself okay so c and c plus plus you have to prepare till array 
arrays pointers okay till this point you have to prepare i will provide the link from there you can prepare bit of coa if you can prepare then also it will be good for you because when i will be explaining about memory concepts then it will be easier for you to grasp the thing what i am talking about memory right in coa i have uh, taught the memory part but in verilog i will be not teaching exactly how a memory is uh, defined okay let's discuss about the day wise plan so in day zero uh, after this video right uh, like a link will be provided where i will be discussing how to in install icarus verilog and vs code all those things then few prerequisites you can do in day zero you can do the prerequisites whatever i have mentioned okay and you can do in parallel as well the prerequisites that is fine because in between i will provide breaks so in day one uh, to five we will be doing this and after this right a uh, fourth uh, day I, I have given you a break why because in this day i will be discussing about questions i will give you homework questions and i am expecting that in the break day you will be doing that doing uh, solving those questions and you will be providing me the solution okay then only you will be able you will be able to learn it now let's discuss about day two, six to ten we will be doing all these things okay in day six to ten we will be mainly learning about uh this vectors like syntax only then i will be uh, doing solving few exercise problems so uh, i will also discuss from where i have studied very long I, what sources i have followed i will discuss uh, at the end of this video now from day 11 to 15 we will be discussing about gate level modeling and then few exercise solutions then uh, continuous assignments and then i have provided you a break of two days because in these lecture right we have learned a lot of lot of things and you have to code so i have provided you enough break so that you can code and obviously you can learn few other things as well from day 16 to 17 we will be, we will be completing our module one so module one will be finished here now if you want the module two i will discuss what exactly you have to do before that i wanted to say that what resources i have followed so this is the uh, like main resource that i have followed the book Verilog HDL by Samir Palnitkar sir. Okay, I have followed this book thoroughly. You can also follow this book. There are exercise, uh, exercise and like problems are there. You can solve this. Like that is what I have solved in my course. And I have sometimes followed NPTEL like various course uh, like playlist, playlist from NPTEL. This is one of the playlists. Not I have I have not watched all the videos, but few videos I have watched. So not all the videos where i get stuck there there i have watched those videos from nptl so these were my resources now what are the uh, like links to the prerequisites so the, for digital design these are the two resources that i can say like if you prefer studying lecture wise you can follow this playlist if you prefer studying uh, marathon wise you can follow this playlist now one thing i want to mention that complete digital electronics is not taught, taught freely on youtube for that you have to uh, like buy our paid course that i will discuss later on but completely it is not there okay on youtube and for coa again coa part one is there on youtube this is the playlist for coa but the memory cache memory and memory organization is not taught completely on youtube okay now for c and c plus plus you can watch this video from fee uh, code cam this is a very very good video it's like three and a half uh, like four hours video approximately so in this video basically you will be learning all about pointers arrays and all the basic syntaxes now you might have a doubt why should like i trust, trust you why should i trust you now i will say don't trust me just watch the first three lectures if your frequency matches with my teaching then you can uh, proceed if your frequency doesn't match then you can leave the video okay you don't have to trust me like uh, i i don't want to force you that watch this video this is the best no you decide right you you are grown up you can decide by yourself whether you are learning something new whether i'm giving some value to you okay the way i'm representing the content the way i'm doing the coding is it available anywhere else or not you can make your own decision so just give me your three hours because the first three lectures will be around three and three and a half hours so you can give your first three hours just watch the videos and just then you can decide whether you want to proceed with the playlist with the course or not now let's discuss what you have to do for very long to be completely for free so trust me this took me a lot of hard work studying all this right and then recording all the content speaking here okay it is not that simple it is not that simple so it takes a lot of hard work and if i am doing that much amount of work for you guys of course i also expect something in, in return right 
so if i'm providing you for free then these are my targets so first is this video if you get this video to 800 likes or 4000 views this is the first uh, condition second condition is you have to support the initiative so i will provide a link to my linkedin post i will post about the 30 days challenge so this will be 30 days of verilog this will be coding challenge of verilog so you repost my post with a hashtag 30 days of verilog then the third one is share your learnings now this is actually not for me this is for you guys because once the videos will come out i know <coughs> like what happens most of the guys they are very excited for the first from the first video but on lecture 3 and 4 right their excitement goes down and they are not consistent so what i wanted uh, want you to do in the third point is you share your learnings post on linkedin with the hashtag 30 days of verilog summarizing what you have learned from that day's lecture and of course you can take a screenshot of any coding coding you have done any verilog code you have written you can take a screenshot and uh, share in that post now why is it important this will help you in maintaining the consistency because if let's say you post right then the next day you don't post then you you will have a bit of anxiety that i did not post i did not complete my daily goal and trust me the uh, people who are consistent they only will be able to reach their goal rest will simply die down okay they will not be able to reach their goal if you want to reach your target reach your goal you have to maintain the consistency these were my conditions i hope you understand like uh, why am i doing this because it takes a lot of hard work to record to explain to prepare the content trust me now let's discuss about our comprehensive courses because if you want to prepare with us uh, like i will i will provide you with the information about our comprehensive courses so we in prefusion we prepare for gate ec double e and for vlsa aspirants so who are, uh, for the aspirants who are preparing for uh, like campus placements in vlsi type of job roles we prepare both for analog vlsi profile and for digital vlsi profile so if you want to prepare for any of the profiles or if you want to prepare for gate then you can prepare with us you can contact us on these numbers and discuss like if you want if you have any like course uh, related query or something okay so currently a huge offer is running if you apply the code titans15 you will get 15% off on all our courses so uh, avail it before it goes away so that was about a quick information about the comprehensive courses so that's it basically from my end i hope you are consistent enough to follow along the course and of course you achieve whatever goals you want to achieve so all the best from my end and i hope to see you in the lecture one of ferry log